Good afternoon, YouTube world. <clears throat> this is Scott. I'm talking to you on the 1st of November, 2020, and it is 2.40 in the afternoon, 14.40. Okay, today I'm going to show you how I make my most excellent rice. Rice that would make a Thai chef proud. Okay, here we go. First, I use green onions, uh, mushrooms, cilantro, obviously rice, onions, ground white pepper, cumin, uh, Himalayan pink sea salt, which is in this container right here, and some ginger, which is in this container, obviously jasmine rice, and don't, don't get any other rice except jasmine rice. Jasmine rice is the best. But make sure it says Thai Ham Mali on it. You see where it says right there? Thai Ham Mali. Make sure it says that on there. Make sure it says from Thailand. Okay. And today I'm going to have a little special treat. Oh, I forgot to say garlic. And a little special treat for my son and I. Habaneros and jalapenos. Okay, so I'm going to start chopping these up. And I'm going to put you on pause while I chop. Okay? Thanks. Hold on. All right. Okay, so this is how I cut the mushrooms. Got it. Okay, now I'm going to cut, I think, a third of an onion because I'm making a lot of rice here. Cut the ends off first. I'm going to cut it in thirds. That's about a third, right? Yeah, that's about a third. That can go to the side. Now you peel the first layer off and the second layer. I might have to add more onion to this. Cut that end thing off. Now I'm going to chop the onion. First I cut it in thin strips. See how I put my finger back? So this way I don't cut my fingers off. Now watch how I chop these. And that's the mushrooms from the when I just cut those. Of course, you don't cross contaminate. No, but this is not meat, so. It's all getting cooked in, the, in this pot together, so. Anything more onions? Okay. I think that should be good. Go. Okay, folks, now I'm going to cut up the garlic. Now this food I'm making is called cow tom. It's a Thai vegetable soup with rice, and it's very good. I learned about it when I when I was in Thailand, and I learned how to cook it when I was in Thailand. That's why I know a Thai chef is going to be very proud of this meal. So first, what you do with the with the garlic is uh, you crush it like this. You take it under the flat edge of a knife, and crush it down. You do the same thing with each of the garlic ears. I'm not sure if it's called an ear or a clove, whatever it's called, crush it down, and it makes the skin come off almost instantaneously. And I'll show you that in a second here. This is organic garlic. I don't use that uh, junk from China. It's poison. But who knows, maybe it comes from China anyway. <laughs> Okay, now watch how easy it is to peel this garlic. Normally you'd be sitting there for minutes peeling it and it stick to your hands. Ta-da! Okay, I'm gonna put it on pause now. I'm gonna finish the rest of the garlic. Everyone. All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna chop the garlic up. 
for my cow tom. Now this, the reason I'm making rice, again, is because of the rice diet. It's going to help me lose a lot of weight. It has already helped me lose a lot of weight, and it's going to help me to lose more weight. I'm going to lose 100 pounds plus of body fat, pure, unadulterated body fat with this diet. His goal. That's my goal anyway. Okay, now I'm chopping the garlic. I've already chopped the onions and the mushrooms. You know, people buy this stuff that's already chopped in containers, but who knows how fresh that is? Who knows where the garlic came from? At least this way I know. See, I'm keeping my finger on the end of the knife. Now I have like nice fine garlic here. Get this off the knife. Get that off the knife. Double check that everything is the right size. It is. And I might add more garlic to it, so. I don't have a recipe, I just follow uh, what looks good. Okay, go ahead. Uh, ready? Yeah. Okay, now this is the cilantro for my cow tom meal. Uh, watch how I chop it, it's very easy. It's already been rinsed. Remember, keep your fingers back, like this, so you don't cut your fingers off. And you move back while you're cutting it. Go the other way. Now the only difference between this cow tom and the stuff you would get if you would go to Thailand is they usually have a protein in there, in their mix. Eggs or pork chop, you know, bacon or uh, chicken or any kind of fish or sometimes even beef, I guess. I've never tasted beef cow tom. Pork and shrimp mostly. Mostly shrimp. Mostly things that are seafood because it's Thailand. Okay. Pause. Yep, all right. Okay, now I'm going to make my uh, hot surprise. Some two habaneros, chop them up, and two jalapenos. Jalapenos have good flavor but not very much heat. Habaneros have great heat but they don't have very good flavor. They're kind of bitter. So I'm just going to make those. First, I cut it the long way, then I cut it the long way again, and it's okay if there's seeds in it. You don't have to take the seeds out. Some people prefer to take the seeds out. I don't. But, Jeremiah, do you want me to take the seeds out? Yeah, I prefer you do. Okay, as a request of my son, I'm going to take the seeds out. You just go like that. It takes most of the stuff. Then, of course, make sure you wash your hands after you get done because some people might find jalapenos too hot, and now you got jalapeno oil on your skin. So you touch your eyes, and guess what happens? Your eyes burn. Same thing after you wash the habaneros. I mean, I cut up the habaneros. Okay, now I'm going to cut up the habaneros the same way. Because I'm a chili head, I don't have any problem touching these hot peppers. But if you're not a chili head like myself, it's recommended that you wear gloves or that you have someone else cut them for you. Because if it gets on your fingers and you have a slight cut, you're going to feel it. And then you can chop them up the same way I just chopped those other, other things up. Start going the long way. Okay, pause it. Not yet. 
good. Now I'm cutting up the green onions. Notice I'm cutting the ends off because obviously I'm not eating those. Okay, now same thing. Chop, chop, chop. This is the garnish at the end after the right after the rice is cooked and it's done and you're getting ready to serve it into plates. You garnish the top of the cow tongue. Or I'm sorry, the bowl. You garnish the cow tongue with the the, the sliced onions. So I'm going to chop it up, and then I'll be right back with you. Go ahead. Now I'm going to clean the rice. Just turn on hot and cold, and just hit the sprayer. And keep doing it. Just keep twirling it around. This gets all the starch off the rice. This gets all the junk off the rice. Any uh, dirt that might be on the rice. Any, I don't know. There could be bugs or whatever. Just get that off the rice. The more rice you have in this strainer, the more you want to rinse it. So you make sure that all the layers get covered in water. You don't want to do this with hot water because you're starting to cook the rice then. You want to do this with cold or warm water. And you can look at the bottom when it starts to run clear, you'll know you're done. But usually it should take about two minutes to do this. There's, in Thailand, they don't use uh, a strainer like this. They put it in a pot and wash it out with their hands. Next time I make rice, I'll show you how to do that. It takes a little longer to do it, though. So. The more thoroughly you wash the rice, the better it will taste. See, I'm going one direction, then the exact opposite direction, and at an angle. At another angle, then circles. Just get right in there. Again. Okay, now, drain it out a little bit, over here, you can come over here, here my. This is the, over there is the, my dog food. I made turkey, uh, chicken breast for him, and I used this water to make the chicken breast. And now that water has, you know, a little bit of chicken fat in it, and it has some chicken flavoring too. So now that's basically chicken broth. What I'm gonna do is when this is finished draining, See how it has to drain? I don't want tap water in my food. And for the record, um, it is actual chicken, though. It's not some type of weird chicken that only dogs can eat. No, it's just regular basic chicken. Now, I put two and a half cups in here of rice. The reason I put two and a half cups is because this is going to be two meals for me and one meal for my son. Jeremiah, why don't you tell him how much you like it? It's like pretty it. good. Pretty good. Get out of my house. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> now, when you make cow tom, you have two choices. You can have thick and porridgey cow tom, which means you don't use as much water, or you can have soupy cow tom by adding a little more water. K A cow tom is spelled. K H A O T O M. Well, I guess that's the English transliteration of how to spell it, because that's not how you spell it in Thailand. Okay, now come over here. Turn the hot, turn it on high. Tip it over to the rice. There's no rice in there. That's good. Now I know I need more. I know I need more water. So okay, go ahead. Two more cups of water. That's to start. Maybe three cups. 
So we've got five cups in there now. Five cups of water, two and a half cups of rice. Notice the ratio, two to one, right? Because I'm not worried about how, if this comes out too thin or too thick, because it's better, it comes out good either way. This is added as a garnish. This is the green onions. When I cook the soup, I'm going to add a teaspoon of Himalayan pink sea salt to this water here. Okay, maybe I'll add a little more because I got so many. I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half of pink salt. You see it's pink. To the water. Now that's going to cook in with the food. Now while that rice is cooking, I can put this back in the cabinet. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sizzling the ingredients. That's the onions, the garlic, and the mushrooms. This is a combination of hot peppers that I showed you earlier and the cilantro that gets added at the end. You wait till the last, say, 30 seconds of cooking this mixture. And I'm only going to cook this mixture for about a minute and a half. Then I add this for the last 30 seconds. So a minute with this, add this, and cook them back together for the minute, a total of a minute and a half. Then, when it's done cooking, this will, by that time this will be done cooking. About 15 minutes of this. That will have to just sit for a while. And then when this is done cooking, I'm going to add all these ingredients into the rice. Stir it up, and we'll be done. But you'll notice how I separate the ingredients. It's easier to serve this way. It's easier to cook this way if you have the ingredients separated. So you spend the time chopping. Again, I have to clean that whole counter up now. And then when you're done, you separate the ingredients that are going to cook for a long time, cook for a short time. All right, so this is on high. I'll put it on pause. Ready? Now I'm just sizzling the uh, mushroom, onion, and garlic mixture. And I might throw some water in here so it doesn't burn. But you want to, you want to be able to uh, open up the flavors of these various ingredients. So you stir it around, stir it, open up the flavors. I'm going to add in the hot peppers and the cilantro. <coughs> Make you gag, doesn't it? They say you shouldn't cook hot peppers for a long period of time because they give off fumes. They do. Trust, trust me. Okay, that's enough cooking of those. Turn it off, separate the heat, and I'm done. Now we just gotta wait for the rice to cook. And I wanna keep these mostly warm, so I'm gonna put the lid on it. Ready? Yep. Okay, you wanna keep stirring the rice so it doesn't clump up. But also, it'll stick. Right now I'm using, I learned out my lesson over the lifespan of cooking rice that you always use a non-stick pan because otherwise it makes a mess. It's a good tasting mess. One of the things I love the most about cooking rice is peeling off the clump stuff that's stuck to the pan. That's the best. Tastes the best out of all of it. Okay, so right now it's just starting to boil. And you could cover it up, but the thing is if you cover it up, the water starts to pop out of the pan. It'll start boiling over, so you got to be careful. What I'll do is I'll leave it on with the cover for the next 10 or 15 minutes, and then when it starts to rise up, take the lid off and close down again. The, the foamy water will sink back down. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay, this is what they call dancing rice. That's the literal term for it in Thailand, dancing rice. I don't know the actual 
high word for it, but it is called dancing rice, as you can see. The rice is dancing. Okay, I'm going to do this off now. Put it on low because you don't have to cook it. I waste electricity. As you can hear, I have this, the fan on, so I apologize. Now, you see how the rice looks? It's much softer, but it's not 100% cooked yet. About two more minutes. Because we've got to get rid of some of this water in here. Okay, I'll, I'll pause it and we'll come back and it's almost Go. done. Now what I'm going to do is add the mixture of hot peppers, mushroom, onions, garlic, and cilantro into the rice. some black pepper, a half a teaspoon of cumin. Don't put too much of this in it. It overpowers the flavor. And then some, a teaspoon of ginger. Stir it around. I need more water, Jeremiah. Okay, pause it. Is it on? Yep. Okay, folks, so I had to add extra water because it was getting too thick. And uh, my son asked me to have it a little liquidy today. Thick is good. I love it thick. It comes out like porridge. Rice, is, uh, rice and soupy is pretty good too. Now I'm just stirring it around. I already added all the seasonings. Everything is added that needs to be added. Stirring it around and making it good. Now I have to, of course, heat that water up. I want everything to cook together for a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay. Now we're done. Look how, how thick it is. See? It's pretty thick. It's like porridge. So now we're going to just scoop it out. A couple of scoops for me because I'm, I'm getting a cup. My son is getting uh, probably a half cup. In Thailand, they call this comfort food. Comfort food. Just like in America, we have comfort food. Okay. All right. Let's put the lid on this and go eat. I need to bring that over so we can show everyone how good it is. Not okay. Next, okay, ready? Final thing, garnish. And look at my nice dog food bowl for my dog. Turkey, eggshells, kibble, and, I mean, I'm sorry, chicken, eggshells, kibble, and diet to measure surf. So that's for my dog. This is for us. You take some of the garnish like this, add it right on top. I'm gonna add some to yours, Jeremiah. 
Okay, now we're gonna eat it. Mm, mm, mm. Cow tom, delicious. Okay, let's go over here and eat. All right, and that is how you make cow tom, our style anyway. Don't you want to end the video? Nope, let's give it a taste. Stir the, uh, stir the garnish in and give it a taste. Mmm, that is good. What do you think, Jeremiah? Mm. Mm. How good is it on a scale of one to 10? It's pretty good, I give it an eight. Excellent, excellent. Any Thai chef would be proud. Heck, Gordon Ramsay may be proud. All right, anyway, thank you, YouTubers. Please like and subscribe to my channel and share my video so I can get some some uh, people rolling some uh, some followers. I'd like to get 1,000 uh, subscriptions and 4,000 hours of viewing, so please share this with your friends. Thank you. Bye.